Okay. So, I don't exactly remember what it's. This grip, and like here, low like this. And I don't remember where my arm was, but I, all I know is it went like this, and try and like defend a little bit. No, it's this. It's down here. No, no. Really? I, yeah, I, mean, I know. It was high up like this. And it went here. I'm gonna tap for that? I'm not doing it hard. Well, you can be my guest. Oh, you tilt the head. Yeah, look, because the elbow look, yeah. pulls me into the head. Yeah. That's that's essential. So, if you can, I guess if I get top crucifix, block your arm with my head, mm -hmm. put the hand here, and then bring it up and across, are you going to be able to tuck your chin to defend? No. No, because you can tuck under. So where, where are you going to defend this from here? With your arms. Even if you get this arm free, where are you going? Here. I'm not sure if I can stop it even. Alright. One thing, one thing, put this. What if I go here? That feels better. That's good. But I mean, this, I think that's that's defendable because I can just keep my head close to yours. Or I'm on the mat. Don't can. let the arm come through. And then what the here. Yeah. So now this like arm is free. The, the, the thing about it is that you don't see a choke coming. Yeah, that's why I got caught with it. Because like, he just had my hand here and I'm just like waiting for him to do something. Did it hurt, what kind of choke? Like, put you out choke or like it hurt your throat? That feels like it really hurts my throat. Not really like, really gonna put me out. I don't But like, know. as soon as you started peeling my head, I did see like some butterflies, but. I mean, chokes is like, it's a choke, it's a choke. Yeah. It's not always gonna be clean. Like, you feel like you were going to sleep? Yeah, I had to tap, I would've gone to sleep. Yeah. It's not, it wasn't like a throat crusher. But he also grabbed lower. But I don't feel Is like he tall. He's a big guy. How heavy? Like two thirty. Oh, yeah, I'm sunshine. If I go, I, I feel low here. I have more leverage on the downward part. I'm just curious. I wonder if it should be like something like this, where you're threatening the, like arm bar, straight arm. Into that timing feels better. Here, boom. You can fake it. Fake this, like, yeah, like yeah. trying to step so they block the leg. But look at my throat is always that way, too. I'm gonna turn that Which way. Which is good. For me. Right? Exactly. Yeah. You're not gonna And then if I go over here, can you get it still? I yeah. think I need, I need. Well, he was gripping here. He didn't seem to be concerned about the arm. I feel like you can post on my elbow with that hand if I don't, if I let that hand free and, like, yeah. stop a lot of the pressure. So I'm wondering, I don't even think I need this grip. Like, what if I just, like, you can loop, like, dude, uh, there's this thing that Johnny used to do in the half guard, the, it's like sort of that similar loop. From top? Yeah, where guys like, want, guys that just want to play deep half and hold you in. Oh yeah, I've seen Andre do this before, yeah. Where they scoop up the head. Yeah, that seems like a very, like, like, similar concept. Yeah. You can do that from bottom too. From so that's why I feel like, I feel like it might be more effective if you just scoop up the whole head. Cause you're long, right? Like, so that's like going around. That's like grabbing low and going around. Cause that that wasn't even done here. If you're like this, mm -hmm. like in half, and you go around the whole head like that. Yeah. So it's not choking with the forearm. This is like that's like it's it's backwards. It's back. It's literally this rather than like. Oh, right. I don't know. And you hurt your own wrist. Yeah. It weird. Feels weird. Yeah. But. It was pretty, I've never, I don't think I've ever seen that backwards paper cut. I've never seen that before. And he just pulled it out like he just does it every day. And I've never seen him do that or anyone. He just pinned it? Yeah, he just shot it real quick. Cause you know, I've never seen it. How am I supposed to know that's coming? Ever tall? Ever, yeah, he's, big, he's a big dude. He's 6'3". Yeah, yeah, like my, my height would be a little same, same. Or Look at this one, I'm gonna share this. Okay. Uh, are you from a and Come here. Side control, you put bottom side control. God, Josh does this too. Please here. Right? This? Okay. Right? Turn. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> That's tight. That's wow. pretty tricky, right? Yeah. Do it again. You're afraid of me. I turn away. And then I come back. 
trying to be nice to your arm. Yeah, yeah. If you get over my shoulder, I probably because oh, they'll get that's, this choke. That's yeah. where it's tight. The choke is super tight, but if you leave this here, it's like an arm lock too. Yeah. Here, nice and tight. I feel like with this, I could. Get you my could pull out. But if you had it when you had it over my shoulder, if I go here and here, this feels really bad. And but look, I'm here. You're safe, right? Yeah. You feel okay? Mm -hmm. But then is my hips going back in? That's really goes on fast. That's nasty, right? Yeah. You just play bottom side control from now on. Wow. <laughs> jo Josh plays bottom side control, but he doesn't have submissions from there. But he like locks your lapels around your back, so you can't do anything. It's really weird. I don't know what he's doing. He's at, it's, you don't feel in danger, but he's like looking to catch your chin and just roll you. Yeah. I don't know how he does it. I can't even demonstrate it. But bottom side control can be a dangerous position. But that's cool. Yeah. Get up. Hey, to get a sub and like rear naked choke under the arm? Yeah, that's cool. So it's from turning, old. it's not what this is. Yes, yeah, you're, you're right. right. Is this? And then look, go under. Rear naked choke my tricep. Here. Turn away now, turn back into me. <laughs> <laughs> that's so easy and stupid, huh? Yeah. So, you're framing. You should be framing here. Right? You don't even like telegraph it. Just like turn away, like oh no, oh no, don't take my back. And then you just turn your hips back in. That is so sick. That is such a sick move. I, the only other bottom side control one I know is here. Like you frame here and here, and you bridge and push the head and catch at the elbow with the ridge to make them bring their hand to the mat here. So like I'm trying to roll you, okay. but instead of letting me get this leverage, you just bring your hand and you go here. Back to the Americana. Yeah. Who got that? It was like some kid did that the other day. That one's more well known. Like people know that one. You just faking back. There's a guy, Frank Camacho used to do this all the time. He'd be here. If you don't post your hand, you can get the sweep. You just have to push their head really hard. So like if, if I keep your arm wrist trapped and I lift and bridge, you can go here. Like that yeah. Pretty good. But most people when they feel their weight. They they post. So you want you want the reversal, but you kind of also want them to post. So you go, you bring your hand to stop, boom, and then to Americana, and you just come back fast, like the just quick tap, like you just rip it, yeah, before they have a chance to yeah. even think about Move it. Move their body, just fear. Yeah, just the fear. Yeah. 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 Did I ever show you the mouse trap thing that Josh is like? Is I almost that, when I first it? moved here. Is it mouse trap? Yeah. No, not that. It's a choke from bottom side control. Would you like to demonstrate? I can. I mean, can I? No, I'll sure. Do. Can I use the knee guard? So, like, so imagine side control, you bridge and they push into you, and you go here. This is the. the Who's that guy from 10th Planet? They call this the. Gummy, gubby choke, Gu guppy choke. It's like doing a triangle with your arm and your leg where you reach through and you have Yeah, there's a guy from 10th man who's putting a bunch of black belts to sleep with it. And they have one head, they have their head and one arm on the inside. But I could, I, it gets shut down really easy. Someone, if someone can get their forearm over your uh, throat, then it's super easy to just extend and pin you to the mat. But if you can, when you do it, if you go over their arm and you have this, then they're like stuck. I saw, there was a big thread about this on Reddit one time. You have to have kind of like long, linky legs. So. Yeah. There's something that's just not cool about going for submission from bottom side control because it's, it's, like, natural. it's like you give it up and you're just like trying to sneak something off on it. I feel like it's dishonorable. Like, yeah, it's like if cool. someone beats you up enough, it's like actually just somebody just, somebody's like playing open garden and you just go for a lock. Yeah. It's pretty much the same caliber. Kind of, I don't know. It's just like, something like that I don't respect about bottom side control submissions. But I really like that one. I think that has a lot of potential. That one, that one is like nasty. Because that choke comes on super fast. I think that's, that's the best of all. That's stuff. You can find that on Keenan Online next week. Yeah. Would you like to plug your, your Instagrams? Del Mar and Jesus Yeah. This guy does the shit. That was a sick move. That's two new submissions I've learned in one week. That probably hasn't happened for years. I think sometimes your mind just gets prepared for it. Like, maybe, you know, like after you get tapped, you're like, oh shit. I don't know what that was, but then, like. But I don't get tapped very often. So, 
like, if I get tapped, it's like a back choke from like a really good guy. It's never something you need like that. I haven't seen it. Very rare. But I want to try that that. I gotta remember to practice. Yeah. You can choke people. Like, let them think, especially. You no, because that's my whole side control escape game, anyways. Because we don't ever feel anything, right? Yeah, it's all I'm running all escape. Escape in the back. So if I just normally I try to bring my arm here, but if I bring my arm here, they feel like they you feel safe here. Like it yeah. comes on so fast when you come back, which is cool. And I'm just bringing my hips and turn. You see how that? Like, it's so sick. That arm is. Yeah, and it's like locks it in place. I love it. So I feel like you can hit that, especially even in Noki, right? Like try doing it cupping my shoulder, like regular framing, right? Interesting. Like this? No, just cupping the shoulder socket. Where? Because you're going to post on the front, right? Okay, okay. Oh, right. Right. you're saying you don't need to grip, that grip control. Yeah. You need to look here. Then you turn back. Oh, you're right. I guess you don't. With the arm. Right? If you can bite even better, like you said, cupping that shoulder. I haven't had anybody cup their shoulder. That seems weird, right? Yeah. Okay. So, where are here? Yeah. Can you hit it? Because you're long. Like a neck. Yeah, like, like, because <laughs> you're locked in like a frame. Yeah. It, it ties together so weirdly. It? It's like a weird, like, like when you put a bunch of toothpicks together, but somehow they stay. Like, that's the kind of mechanic that seems to be. You know, that thing's nasty. That's super sick. I love that. I'll, you can do it from top, I'm sure. I mean, if you can do something from bottom, you can do it from top. So, how do we do it from top? So, the hips or what? We need to switch back and forth. It's you. Right. Uh-huh. And I'm going like this. <laughs> I don't know that you can generate them. Yeah, I don't know. No, it's there. It's just that it doesn't feel as like tricky. So you would go like this. You come here and here. And you you this is how you do it. You don't show you don't show the chin control. Mm -hmm. You leave it like this. And they're just going here and then you just come up and then you have it here, this feels loose. Mm -hmm. But then when I sit back, is that it? It would be this way. This is the leverage. You follow so you roll this, you roll into it. That's where it is. That's, That's it, right there. You roll over the arm. So you're just here. It's so weird. Yeah, it's, it's super weird. So you roll here. You gotta move to catch the angles, bro. So control. You just have the grip. No try to choke. There's there's paper cutter threat, but I don't think it matters. Catch you. And then you go into the arm. Falling onto your hips. Oh, oh my, that's brutal, actually. Because if I put my weight on you, it's gonna break your arm. Yeah. And you like if I it? if I actually drop here, like drop my hips hard, okay. I'm going super slow. Cause... Oh, like a long step drop? Yeah, dude. It snap your arm. Hell yeah, dude. That's a shitload of leverage there. The question is, can I get it while it's like active, like wow? Are they gonna I think you can. Like this? It doesn't matter because it's this. It's under the arm. It doesn't matter. Like I'm catching here, so it's not like I don't need to control the arm. I only need to catch my shoulder to your armpit. Putting pressure like this, and then the second I have, even if he goes, look, where they're gonna go here oh. and over, and then, <laughs> you're gonna <really> come back. <laughs> and you're still gonna get it. But is, especially like heavyweights, they're gonna get boom and try to roll you. That's a really good side control. Can you get turn it? Yeah. I think so. Especially from top. Because you don't want to give side control from bottom. Like in a turn. Yeah, like, it's, it's, I would rather have to put yourself in a really shitty position. It's not worth it. So from top, like you can get, if you're winning the match, you can go for it. Let me try again. So, even if your arm here, does this work? Here, I don't know. No, it no, needs to be the arm. But people would rather have their arm there anyways. Yeah, this is where they feel. So like this is the thing too. If you don't, get, you don't. If you get this, well, if they're framing on your hip, it doesn't matter because you just you're just here connecting like this. This is this is all you need. This connection, because then when you fall into it, can you follow me up? Only, but if, only if, if I keep don't going. But yeah, I do not fall. Yeah. Where's the pressure in your arm? It's starting to get to because look as you start you turning your back. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. yeah, and it, it feels like it's like a combo arm uh, tricep slice, right? And and choke. And and it's like messing all this up. They're gonna be like they're gonna panic. Hmm. 
you can just do this. Like you can just like catch like this, like you're trying to control from side control, right? Mm -hmm. And they feel fine. But are you already setting up the ramp to choke? Ah. Oh my god. Dude. Anyone I give it that is gonna be done. I wanna hear about it. There's no I wanna know you hit in practice. I could definitely hit that. That's a really where'd you learn that? Harvey, the owner of Where'd you learn that? I don't know. I'll ask him. Oh, ask him if you've ever tried it from the top. I think uh, Steven Roberto, I think. Wong. Really? Yeah, I know him well. I'm gonna ask him about it. Can I try that again? This one is top or bottom? Top. And top is way better. Like, the bottom's cool, but top, like, you can force it. Bottom, it's like they kind of have to put themselves in. So you just get them heat. You just can you go up. here? Does he, it doesn't even matter. This doesn't matter if you let me frame Yeah, it doesn't matter if you face me or don't face me. It's just a matter of you going like this. Where would, like, you would, you, you try and hug my hip here with your yeah. left hand, which is a problem. Right. Now I feel like I don't have the same leverage. You do. You do. If I get it there. If I get it over first. So I just have to control here for. All you do is, like, you be sneaky. So you could come from knees down. You know how always everybody opens up. I'm here and you suck that knee inside. My elbow opening up. Yes. Just below, right? Boom. And that just comes right there. And just grab your bicep. Yeah. yeah. Like, that's it. But I'm wondering, like, how can you disguise it the most? I feel like you just, I guess it's just so simple, you just do it. You literally just put it. Do you latch onto this? This is, this is shitty. Latch here and boom. It's so good. <laughs> wow. That's almost as strong as the force choke, but it, this one's legal. It's the force choke. Force choke is when you go like, come on top. When someone's like double undering you, or they're just putting a lot of like stalling pressure, mm -hmm. you pull their knee up like this, and you leave your hand in here, and you just grab the knee. What is side. that? Well, it's cool. Is if you extend away, it chokes you. So what it's, is that? Good. It's under your knee. What? Yeah. So it's not. It's the opposite of a choke. So you have to pressure into it to not get choked. Okay. But if you pull away. Chokes you. I'm so confused. Let me see this. Come here, Gardner. Let me see it. <laughs> it's a, it's I'm illegal. So lo I'm lost. It's illegal in competition, but. It is illegal? Yeah. But you can hit it from anywhere. Bottom side control, bottom mount. Your referees don't know what they're looking at anymore. So you go, you go like this. You pull the gi ups until you can connect your hand. Your fingers together. How is that illegal? They call it illegal? This, this part. You show Gabriel? This part's illegal. Really? Yeah. You go here. Palm down. And it's called the force choke because people back away so much. Keep, keep backing away, I won't choke. Keep backing away, stand away, stand away. When they stand up, you just choke them with one hand. Like, well, like, yeah. <laughs> the, the more they back away, they didn't try to think you choke them. Just, uh, <laughs> Dude, that's the shit. That one's fucking sick. So you can do it from literally anywhere that you can get the gear. grip. So like, I'll have power control and I'll just like connect. Dude, that's but from double under. This is, le this is legal. This grip's legal. It's just when you put your own hand inside. So like, I'll, I'll do the fight like this. I'll do it from standing here and just get this control. And when they try and posture up to break my grip, it locks in so tight. Dude, because all the and if they turn away, they can turn away, but they're still getting choked. We do an easy fight on our floor. And then if you control this side, try it, try it. Dude, like, Chris uh, Beckham, Dude, like, he'll go double under on me all the time, like... No, this is like, kills double under. I, I'm yeah. attacking so many guys with this. But, unfortunately, it is illegal, so I stop doing it. Illegal 19, yeah. Well, I just fell down. Dude. Yeah. And then, if they, if they, like, turn in a way that it feels like you're defending, you just pull close guard with that grip. And you just press out. Just press out. Dang. That's filthy. Yeah, it's really good. And it's like a defensive guard too, so like if you're passing my guard, I'll be like trying to go here as you're trying to put pressure. And once I get my hand in like this, the more pressure you put into me, the better now. Because now you can, when I try to come out. Yeah, so like you continue trying to pass the side control. Go oh, away. Doesn't matter. From here, watch on. And try, where can you go to escape? Have you hit this in tournament? I've never tried it. You're afraid to give me the cue? Yeah, I just don't want to give you the cue. Yeah. I've, when I showed this, I showed it on my YouTube. A lot of, like, people message me all the time saying, like, man, I got DQ'd for the force choke. Like, is it illegal? 
Because I didn't say in the video if it was illegal or not. But I learned this from uh, Christian Remains. You can't. Have you asked, has anyone asked Gabriel? No. I'm gonna send a message to Gabriel. But I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure putting. I used to referee a lot. I don't know why I referee now. All right. Um, I'm gonna ask him if that's illegal or not. Because technically, it's still the right? I'm able to wrap it around. I can move Ezekiel. Sure. But Ezekiel is your own key. You can do anything you want to your own key. Like put your hands wherever you want. But someone else's key, you're not supposed to be able to put your hands inside their key. So because you're not allowed to put your feet inside the key, you're not allowed to put your fingers inside the key. So like even let's say opening lapel up. The, the thing that's weird is that it would work hard even. Yeah, but it's like it's not inside. It's like they don't want you to put your hands like in this. Like this is actually a legal grip. This is legal. It's when you put the whole arm through that it's like, they say, a lot. It's like, it's like such a, a rare thing that it's probably not in the whole book. I want to read the, I want to read that, like, like uniform use. Yeah. If there's not in it, they can't DQ you for it. If, right, if it's not in the rule book. True. If it's not in there, you have to, you can't DQ me. Right? I'm sure it's covered right. under the section where it's like, you can't put your hands or your feet inside something. Like this, like you're not allowed. Then work, to, then work or would be illegal. You're not allowed to put your feet like this or like this. Like they just remove it. It's not an EQ. It's like if you, your foot's here. They're like, hey, your foot's inside. They move it. Okay. This is legal. This grip here in the armpit. There's the That's legal. This is legal. You don't even have to you can grip it here. It's just fine. But you can't like. You can't. They say you can't do it like this. They didn't say. They didn't say. I can't. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna, this grip feels good. I think I can arm bar someone. It's good. I think you could. Cause yeah, it's like super yeah. good shoulder control. But I don't. I don't know. I just don't know.